In high school, I was voted most likely to rhyme, because even though I spent my time with my attention focused only on point B, the point I'd be liberated from that dungeon I hated, my classmates could just kind of tell that I harbored poetic greatness within my nondescript shell. Hey, you know that weird guy who sits by himself at lunch and doesn't make eye contact and came to Hero Day as Sam Kennison? I bet he writes poetry, and I bet it's really good. I bet he could teach me a few things about myself. Okay, I lied. I wasn't really voted most likely to rhyme. I was actually voted most likely to wish there was a most likely category befitting his unique personality. Because even though my classmates couldn't tell I was into poetry, they knew I must be into something and really into it. They could intuit the inner storm which belied my placid surface because even though I was a quiet kid, my silence was the kind of silence that tore through eardrums like they were a cheesecloth. See, there's nothing more powerful at that age than the paradoxical desire to gain the approval of those you don't respect. And my desire for that approval was like a force of nature, a tornado that at any moment might choose any direction for its path of destruction. Okay, I lied again. My silence didn't rupture any eardrums. Although there was this one time I almost made a football player's head explode. I came really close. I was, he really had it coming and I was Really concentrating. If you looked really close, you could see his head vibrating a little. Seriously, he had to go to the nurse's office. But no, my classmates didn't know about my inner storm, just the placid surface if they noticed me at all. The truth is, I was voted most likely to be least likely to be voted most likely to do anything in particular. I was mostly invisible in high school, and looking back, maybe that was a good thing. I was never really bullied. Maybe I wasn't interesting enough to be bullied. But I saw it happen. I saw all the unimaginative cruelties the adolescent mind can invent, and even though I wasn't voted most likely to rhyme, I bided my time and I took notes on that petty little freak show because high school gave me the two most valuable things you can give a poet, something to write about and the overwhelming need to write about it. It was actually quite a good education, though certainly not in the way it was intended, and at this point, I could most definitely teach them a few things about themselves, but I don't guess I will because that would mean going to a reunion. And I'm just not a reunion kind of guy. But I'd like to think some of my former classmates go to the reunions, the victims, those who never fit in and who failed in their desperate attempts to become invisible. I hope they go to the reunions and I hope they walk in like they own the place, not because of what they've accomplished professionally since they graduated, but because of what they've accomplished between their ears. Because you know they vote on things at the reunions too, or so I've heard. And even if they don't have a ballot box set up for it, it's never too late to vote for most likely to not matter anymore.